guys. So real quick, I am going to review order of operations. This is something we have not done since the beginning of the year, and we've kind of sprinkled in some review throughout the year. But the assignment that you're going to be doing on Go Forward with is just a little bit different. So I wanted to refresh your brain on order of operations. The order in which we solve problems, such as this one, is based off of PEMDAS. So that is something that we learned to help us remember this. So the very first step, if it is in the problem, is to do the parentheses. The second step, if it's in the problem, is to do the exponent. And then you multiply, divide. Multiplication and division are equal. So you go from left to right with multiplication and division. For addition and subtraction, these are also equal. So you go left to right. You don't necessarily have to do addition before subtraction if subtraction comes before the addition. So I'm going to go ahead and go over some terms that you're going to see in the go formative that you may need a bit of a refresher on. So when you are adding and subtracting, um, the answer for an addition problem is called the sum. You might also see the words for subtraction as difference. You might also see subtract. For addition, you might see add. And then over here for multiplication, the answer of a multiplication problem is called a product. And then you might just be seeing, um, we know the words divisor, we know dividend. The answer for a division problem is called a quotient. If I recall correctly, you might just be seeing in the go formative the word divide, which makes that pretty simple enough. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick order of operations problem. It will look different than the one in your go formative. So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to use the PEMDAS steps to help me solve this. So at first, I need to check, do I have any parentheses? Nope. Do I have any exponents? I do. So I need to solve the exponent and then write, bring everything else down and keep going because I should end up with something like a triangle by the time that I am done. So I have four times seven that I'm going to bring down minus, now I need to solve this. Three to the power of two is the same as three times three. So this number is nine plus three. Now, I need to see if I have multiplication and division because they're created equal. So whatever comes first, I do first. What comes first is multiplication, and I do not have any division. So 4 times 7 is 28, and I bring everything else down. Minus 9 plus 3. Now, I need to look for addition and subtraction. I do have both, but because they are equal, I go left to right. So 28 minus 9 is 19 plus Three. Now I need to do 19 plus 3, which is 22, and that is my final answer. So when you are solving the problems on the go formative, make sure that you are paying attention to what needs to come first, especially based off of PEMDAS. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on Google Classroom.